Hi FlossTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and my channel is Lancashire Stitcher. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. This is a channel mainly about cross stitch, but I do include other crafts as and when I do them. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for coming back. Thank you for subscribing, commenting, asking questions, liking, um, and it's nice to see you all again. Um, today is Saturday the 5th of December 2020. This is FlossTube number seven. Um, I've not got a lot of stitching to show this this time but I thought I'd go through some plans for next year and I also have a giveaway at the end of the video. <laughs> okay so questions on my last video. Tess asked me how much extra does it cost to buy things from 123 Stitch? Um, she, she's asking about um, customs charges mainly. Um, I don't buy from 123 one, Stitch very often, um, but when I do, I only pay what it tells me on the website. So the cost of the charts and postage costs. Um, I've never had to pay customs charges on anything, um, but I think the most I've ever spent at 123 Stitch on items is about £30. So um, I, don't, I don't buy big things, a lot of things from there. Um, Jenny asked me what colour fabric I use for Song of Christmas um, by Lavender and Lace. I showed it last last time. Um, it's in my current um, acrostic challenge. Um, I think it's an olive green. Um, it was before I started it, before hand dyed fabric was a thing. Um, and I think I just ordered the, the call for colour or as near to the call for colour as I could. Um, I can't remember exactly what colour it is. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like an olive green. Um, Vivian asked me, how much do I stitch in an average day? Um, on a weekday, I would normally stitch in the evening, so maybe two or three hours at the most. Uh, the weekend I tend to stitch more. Um, and then also if I'm anxious or I'm stressed, I stitch more too because um, it helps me with that. Um, so during the first lockdown here in the UK back in March, I stitched a lot. I basically would stitch a lot of the day basically because it, I was just so anxious. Um, but yeah, usually maybe two, three hours in the evening. Um, Sassy Gal 2007 asked me what program I use, program I use on the iPad. Um, I use Good Notes um, for PDFs. It can I can highlight things, uh, mark off what I've stitched. Um, I also use it for my knitting patterns that I have on PDF. Um, so yeah, it's a really good good one. Um, I want to say thank you to Tammy Spruce and Michelle Young who both told me about linenandthreads.com. Um, Last time I, I said about my unicorn charts and I said one of them was a Mirabilia dragonfly um, and they told me about the Australian retreat free chart by Mirabilia. Um, I'll put the link down below if anybody else is interested. Um, but yeah, I've, I've got that chart now. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so stitching wise, again, I've not been able to no, I have stitched a lot this week, this past two weeks, um, but I can't show you a lot of it because I'm doing an exchange piece and I'm also doing a Christmas present, um, not including the one for my husband, which I've not stitched on this past two weeks because I'm trying to get this other one finished. And I can't show it because I'm not sure if the person who, who um, I'm making it for watches my video, so I can't really show it. So, um, and the exchange piece I've, I've I've sent it off now, but I did take photographs of it before I sent it, so I will show it when I know it's been received. Um, so stitching wise, other than that, um, the first one as always is One Nation by Bygone Stitches. Stitching this as part of the One Nation Sal hashtag. And I had to do it all in one go this time because um, I usually stitch on this on a Saturday and obviously I'm now videoing on a Saturday so <laughs> so last week I did two states and two stars on Saturday and I don't know if I'm going to get to stitch on it today I'm going to have to pick a different day I think to stitch on this um, so and it's getting that big I'm not going to be able to show it all on the video so there we are so far so I did Michigan and 
what was the other one florida this time so there we go so i'm stitching this on a piece of belfast linen using the call for colors which are basically antique lace cupid and i think it's blacksmith blue i think so yeah the next one is the last one of my november across the challenges and it's foxglove by nora corbett stitching this on a piece of 28 count dawn chorus by pull stitches and this is what i've got done so far so this time i did the, the pink bit in her hair there i did quite a large area here and i did some down here as well so I'm quite happy with how that's coming along yeah it's using all the cold bar colors as well the next one is merry little christmas by shepherd's bush i bought this as a kit from nimble thimble and i also got the little tray as well and that's what i've got done so far this is stitched using i think it's week's dye works colors and also a couple of um dmc and it's just stitched one over one and one over two one over two so yeah my next one now this i picked this as one of the things that i'm going to stitch on next year which i'll talk about in a few minutes um and i just wanted to start it straight away i'd finished my, my november acrostic challenge and so i was just picking up bits of things to stitch on um and this is cragside farm by derwent water designs um it's a full kit um i saw it made up at nimble thimble a couple of years ago and it looked really nice so i bought the kit and i finally started it i've only got a little start but i have started it and it's been stitched on 16 count ada so as you can see a very little start we've got the start of the house there and then some of the grass and this is some of it stitched two over two some of it stitched one over two so yeah it's going to be nice when it's done and then i've done one of my december acrostic challenge pieces and it's a knitter sampler by October House Fibre Arts. I really like this design. Um, it covers two of my uh, crafting activities. So yeah, spent four hours on this and that's how much I've got done. So I've got the socks at the top, the knitting needles and then the three balls of wool. I'm stitching this using the call for, I think it's gentle arts threads which is the call for threads and it's on a piece of 32 count white belfast linen no it's not it's not belfast linen it's even weave there you go so that's my stitching as i said not much to show um but i thought i'd talk about um my plans for next year um i don't usually do plans for the whole year i used to just plan for the month as you as you know in the 24 hours of cross stitch um but i thought i'm gonna try and get organized next year um because usually i'll do my acrostic challenge for the month and then when that finishes i've got a week or two and i've i'm just picking random things up so i thought this would help me to stick to something maybe get more finishes next year so um the first thing i'm going to do is new year new start so on the 1st of january i'm going to start something that i'm hoping to finish like by the end of december 2021 and this is a very old kit that i've had for quite a, for a while um and it's design works calendar birds i've been wanting to start this for some time and just never got round to it so i thought this is the ideal thing to do as a year-long challenge to try and do one burr a month 
so I'm going to do this. I think it's from the 1990s, this kit, but I've seen a few people do it. I think I've stitched on one myself during uh, Rain Robin in the past. Um, but yeah, I thought I'll, I'll make a start on this. Um, the kit's got everything in it, so it's it's Ada fabric and it's got the, the threads in it as well. So yeah, everything's uh, ready to go on the 1st of January. So there you go. And the other thing I'm going to do next year um, is an alphabet challenge. Um, I know 24 hours of cross stitch do something like this, but um, on one of the groups that I'm on on Facebook, um, somebody suggested we do it as a, as a group. So I thought, yeah, that's a good idea. And it's the alphabet challenge. Um, you pick 24 letters of the alphabet um, and so you miss two out, it's up to you which two you do, and you pick a, an item to go for each letter and it's got to be, the letter's got to be the first letter in one of the main words of the name of the chart. It can't be the designer, it's got to be the name of the chart. Um, and then you stitch on them alphabetically, um, you put a list up on, on the group and then you list them alphabetically and you stitch to a month. So January is A and B if you're doing A and B. And, and so by the end of the year, everyone should have got to Z. OK, so um, it's called the letter. It's called letter of the month. So um, and yeah, so I'm going to show you what I've picked for my items. Some of them are going to be new starts and some are going to be uh, uh, whips um but i'm hoping to also incorporate them into my monthly challenge as well um as and when they'll fit in so for the letter a i've picked amaryllis by lenart it's a margarine bastan chart and this is a full kit i've had this quite some time um my mum used to always have an amaryllis at Christmas. I used to call it Triffid because it reminded me of Triffids in Day of the Triffids. Um, but yeah, I really like this chart, so that's my A. So I'm going to have that as a new start in January. B is going to be Plum Street Samplers Boris, another new start. So yeah, I'm going to stitch that one as B. C is Cragside Farm that I just showed you in my stitching. D is going to be Dragon of the Summer Sky by Dragon Dreams. This has been in my box for quite some time. Um, I did make a start on it, but there's, it's such a small start. I didn't see the point in showing it to you. I basically just did a couple of lines on the dragon. Um, you use some Karen water lilies. Yeah, water lilies on this, as well as DMC threads. So yeah, let's see that one is my D. And then E is Egypt Garden by Chatelaine and that is currently in my acrostic challenge. So I'll be showing that in my next video anyway, showing my progress. F is going to be Firefly Fairies, which is also one of my whips that I've shown before. So I'm hoping to get some progress on that. And then G, I've picked Colourful Guitar Landscape by Artsy. I've been wanting to start this for a while. So yeah, good excuse to make a start on it. And then H, now this one is Hearts Full of Love by Jeremiah Junction. Um, this, I um, started this as, a, as part of a round robin a few years ago um with some friends and it's not been touched since it went round as the rain robin so it's been stitched on and then it's not been stitched on since so i need to fold the end over because my i had to stitch my address on the top so there we go so that's how much of it is done so yeah I'm looking forward to doing some progress on this so that's my h it's got big creases in it because it's been in the bag for so long. But yeah. Um, I is I Am A Stitcher by Cherry Wood Designs. That's currently in my acrostic challenge. So I'll be showing that in my next video too. 
and then Jay is another new start is Jenny Bean's Friendship Sampler. I've seen a couple of people stitching this and I'm really, I really like how it turned out. So yeah, I've put that in my um in my in my list. So that's my Jay. K is going to be Kringles. I bought this a while ago. I've also got the fabric for it. So I'm going to make a start on that as part of this as well. L is going to be Love My Stitching by Hands On Design. Again, I bought this a while ago. Just never sighted it. It's just been in my box. And then let me turn the page. M is going to be Midnight Watch by Blackbird Designs. Again, I've seen this stitched up by quite a lot of people on Flosstube especially. And yeah, I want to make a start on that. This is going to be worked on in July. So yeah. N. N is Mystic Stitch Noel. I've had this for a very long time. I started stitching it as soon as I got the chart. And it's very confetti heavy. I'll show you what I've done so far. That is what I've got done. So that's my Noel as it is at the minute. It looks so much better on there than it does in real life. I suppose because you're looking at it from a distance, but yeah. I really like it, but it is confetti heavy. So I'm hoping to get some progress done on that. Um, oh is this one of Olivia Ockrelief by Silver Creek Samplers. Another new site again. I've seen someone stitching this and it looks really nice. It's got some really nice autumn colours in it. So yeah. P is going to be Princess Eliana by Mirabilia. That'll be another new start. Again, I'm hoping I'll be able to put some of these into my acrostic monthly challenges so I might be able to get a start on them before I stitch on them in that month. Q. Queen Sari by Bella Filipina. I only have two charts by Bella Filipina. This one and Gaia, I think it is. And... When I, I went to start one of them and the measurements on it were wrong. Going off the stitch count, um, the, the measurements it, it was giving was wrong. I don't know if it was this one or the other one. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to check and make sure I have a piece of fabric big enough for it to fit on. And then R is going to be Robin's Song by Little House Needleworks. Again, seen this stitched up. Um, usually when I'm at Nimble Thimble, when people are stitching on things, I've seen people stitching on this. So yeah. And then S is this design here, Santa's List. And it's in this book. I've had this book a long time. Um, so yeah, I used to get the magazine, Cross Stitch and Country Crafts, back in the 90s. Um, so yeah. And, Got, got this book and I, I've wanted to start this for a while so again it's on my list to start so yeah I don't think you can get this book anymore I know um, Blit Stitch um, has mentioned that he's doing something in this um, he's doing the picture there on the back um, but yeah I don't think you can get it anymore stay there I know it's not going to stay there it's going to fall off so on the foot and then T is going to be Think Happy, Be Happy by Bent Creek. It's be, be, Think Happy, Be Happy Raw. So yeah, a lot of blue in there. So yeah. You is going to be Under the Sea by Lakeside. One of my old acrostic challenges. So yeah, that's my you. V is going to be Vintage Christmas by Country Cottage Needleworks. Again, been in my box for a while. And then W, this is an old one, is Winter Wing Ding by Blue, Blue Ribbon Designs. 
I like this design. I've seen it stitched up on some opalescent fabric, so I think I'll I'll be doing it on opalescent too. Yeah. And then X I'm missing out, and then Y is going to be Yonder by Hello from Liz Matthews. And then Z I'm missing out too. So X and Z are the letters that I'm missing out. So again, those are going to be stitched on hopefully through the year as part of my normal acrostic challenges, but um, then they'll have six hours specifically worked on them in a particular month according to which letter they're in. Um, so they're my plans for next year. Again, I don't usually make plans for the year. We'll see how it goes. Um, so my haul. I do have some haul this time. I had another order from 123 Stitch and I got Octopus Biscani by Tiny Modernist. And I also got Mermaid Kisses by Erica Michaels. Oh, I do like this design, nice little one. And you also get the little star button too. And then I also got Summertime by New York Dreamer, another one of these. So I now have springtime and I have summertime. So yeah, I do like those. Um, I also got some fabric from Willow Fabrics. I got a piece of 32 count vintage country mocha, a Belfast linen, um, just for general use. And then I also got a piece of 32 count Belfast light sand. Um, this I specifically bought for Santa's Magic Mirabilia chart. So yeah, I bought that. So they're my purchases. Okay, so next, um, as you, if you've seen my videos before, uh, the past few videos I've been showing charts from my collection. Um, I showed Nora Corbett and Mirabilia video number five. Video number six was Lavender and Lace. And then this one, I've got my drawn thread chart. So, please bear with me. I do have a giveaway. It's one of these. So, right. These ones are quite old, the first two. The first one is Where the Heart Is. Um, I got this on eBay a while ago. And I also got the um, candlestick as well. The next one is Noah's Prayer, so birth sampler, um, which I, I, I do like it. I'm planning on making it soon, Mila. Um, I'll explain more later. Um, next one, Simply Spring. I've got glare on these. And I have Simply Summer, which I did, I have stitched this one. And then we have Simply Autumn. Again, I've stitched this one. And then Simply Scurry. And Simply Winter. I have Summer Jumbo, which is a, a kit from Nimble Thimble. And I have Halloween Jumbo, which is in my whip box. Again, it was bought as a kit. And I have Winter Jumbo, again, which is a whip. Bought as a kit. Uh, save that one for a minute. I have little bits of Halloween. So I go with the threads and beads. I have Welcome Spring, Welcome Autumn, Welcome Halloween, Welcome Winter, and I also have Welcome Christmas, which uh, I've finished, um, Wildflower Garden, which is a finish. Mm, something spilt on this one. 
Autumn Garden. Again, full kit. Butterfly Garden, which get the threads with it. The Pastoral, which is another one that I really want to start. We'll have to wait. <laughs> um, this one is one I've finished, Be Here Now. This is one I've finished, Small Things. I've not actually fully finished it. It's in my pile to fully finish. Those Who Sing, which again is a full kit. Little Lamb Sleeping, which is a, a, a whip. It wasn't a kit. It, I, I bought this as a chart and then I've, it's only DMC and stitching it on some um, banding and then I have Friendship Garden which is it's it's supposed to be stitched as part of maybe as a round robin so yeah I don't know when I'm going to do this because uh, people who stitch on it put their initials on it and then I have The Language of Love which I have fabric for And beads, treasures, um, oh, Christmas dreams sampler that uses needle point silks. This is one that I finished the Christmas thought sampler, and then I have the cat's meow. Morning glory, which again is kit. And I have Love Letters. The other one I have, which is my giveaway, I have two of these. This is Little Bits of Christmas. I have two. And they both come with the threads, buttons, beads. So I have two because I bought one and then I was given one in a Christmas exchange a couple of years ago. So I'm going to give one of these away um I'll, so what i want you to do if you'd like to get this so like i say it's the full full kit apart from fabric um if you'd like this um i want you to tell me your favorite christmas tradition so um if you include the word christmas um but i'd like to know what your favorite christmas tradition is um i'll post it anywhere um again please don't say giveaway um you must be over 18 because i'll need your address um, please be a subscriber um and i'll choose someone in my next video which will be in two weeks time so around the 24th so no it won't be the 24th will it no um yeah in two weeks two weeks from today when I do my next video, I will pick the winner. So you must have commented and subscribed between now and two weeks today. So if today is the 5th, next week is the, the 12th. So it's the week after that. Okay. Right, so. Life update. How much th stuff can happen in one week or two weeks? Um, right, so last time I said I was being tested for diabetes. Um, I had my blood test on Tuesday. And then Tuesday afternoon I got a phone call to say that I'm pre-diabetic. So basically I have to try and change my diet and do some more exercise. Um, I'm also going to be starting... Um, uh, diabetes prevention session uh, course um, starts in a couple of weeks um, so yeah I need to try and change my diet basically um, and, but as I said to the, the nurse when she phoned me up um, a lot of it is because of the current situation um, I'm not working as much as I would normally do and there's lots of things going on so yeah <laughs> And I can't get out as much as I normally do. So this is what's happened. 
Um, other than that, um, my youngest daughter, Sammy, is 22 weeks pregnant. Um, I only found out a few weeks ago, but she didn't want anyone to know until they'd been for the scan at 20 weeks. Um, she she assumed, she thought she'd lost the baby um, after a few weeks, so she hadn't told anybody. And then she told me one day, I think I might be 18 weeks pregnant. And, yeah, so she's expecting a baby girl in April 2021. So yeah, um, lots of taking her for appointments and things like that. So yeah, I'm going to be a grandma for the fourth time. <laughs> I'll have two two grandsons, two granddaughters. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's been a bit frantic. Um, I mean, I've done, I have worked um, several times, different schools over the past few weeks. Um, I think it'll probably quieten down between now and, and there's two weeks left of the term so I think apart from the two schools that I do regularly now um, I think it'll probably quieten down now but you never know uh, <laughs> so yeah um, it's been quite a busy frantic few weeks um, we're out of lockdown now in the UK but again Lancashire Greater Manchester, a lot of places up here in the north are in what's called tier three, where we basically are still locked down. The shops are allowed to open, but pubs can't, um, restaurants can't, and yeah, it's just, yeah, um, we'll see how it goes. Um, but other than that, yeah, we had our first snow yesterday. It wasn't a lot, didn't stick really. Um, it's gone away again today. Um, it is forecast rain today. Um, my husband's golf was supposed to start again today after lockdown, but then it got called off because of the weather. So he's gone to work. So <laughs> couldn't make it up really, could you? Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Um, so my next video will be in two weeks time, two weeks today, Saturday. Um, so happy stitching and um, enter the giveaway if you'd like it um, and I'll see you in two weeks. Bye for now.